so i will uh, start again okay so i hope you can see my screen okay um, so <clears throat> okay thank you uh, so uh, in previous uh, so i have uploaded the uh, lecture one okay first lecture that is related with the coordinate system okay please refer it go through it and in the uh, in previous interaction session we just try to uh, understand the concept of this coordinate system further okay so we haven't done any new thing okay so don't worry if you haven't participated for that interaction session haven't participated for that interaction session it will be okay okay no issue okay so today uh, we will try to uh, derive uh, so i think uh, we can't go up to that level okay I hope I, I can't go up to that level because I need, I try to take today around three hour lecture, but uh, unfo unfortunately we have a lapse after 11 o'clock, okay? So I couldn't be today session. Uh, so I hope to do it uh, around three hour, okay? Because at least we need three hours to complete the uh, system, okay? <laughs> ಅವಳನ್ನೇನೆ uh, derive the radiation field for antenna, okay? But I don't hope we can go up to that level, okay? So anyway, we will try to do that, okay? So first, uh, <clears throat> so first, uh, I think you already know that what is antenna, okay? okay. Antenna we can describe as a uh, radiation mean, okay radiation mean or mean of radiation mean of radiation of uh, actually not uh, only radiating okay mean of radiating let me write it clearly mean of radiating radiating uh, or receiving okay or receiving um, Okay. Mean of radiating or receiving electromagnetic wave. Okay. Electromagnetic wave. Okay. So that is antenna. Okay. That is antenna. Okay. So we can uh, describe an antenna like this. Okay. So if you consider a wire. Okay. Let's consider a wire antenna. Okay. So there are many types of antenna. We will see later. Okay, so if you consider a wire, okay, it is like this, okay, so this is one conductor, okay, and uh, you have another conductor, so this is actually a dipole antenna, okay, I am, I am drawing here a dipole antenna, okay, uh, or oh, it is, a, simply say that it is a wire antenna, okay, so if you, uh, if you connect a signal generator here, okay, if you connect a signal generator. So this is a signal generator, okay? Signal generator, okay? And uh, it should be set to high frequency, okay? It should be set to a high frequency, okay? High frequency. Normally we consider sinusoidal wave, okay? Normally we consider sinusoidal wave, okay? So this is the signal generator, okay? So this is a signal generator, okay? So if you connect this signal generator to wire, okay? For example, in your lab, okay, you can get the uh, get the signal generator, okay, and if you connect the wire to that port, okay, so that is the signal generator, no? sorry, so there is a VNC connector, no? okay, so you can connect just a wire. There is some we have the yes. cables, no? so if you connect the cables, okay, so it is like this, okay, and you have to set it to the high frequency, okay, so. The current will go through this wire, okay? Go through this wire. 
okay so uh, if you set it to sinusoidal wave it is changing no okay so the current is changing like this okay current is changing okay so the current is changing okay so you know that if the current is there it will create a magnetic field like this no okay it will create a magnetic field like this okay so this is the conducting wire and this way it create a magnetic field okay uh, and you know that this current is varying. It is a sinusoidal wave. No? Okay, so it is varying. Okay, then what happened? So this magnetic field also varies. So this is a magnetic field and it is varying. Okay, so that magnetic uh, varying magnetic field field will create an electromagnetic field like this. Okay, so electric field. This is a magnetic field and that varying magnetic field will create electric field okay so this can be explained through maxwell equation actually mm -hmm. okay so uh, uh so this this electric field also a uh, varying electric field because this magnetic field is varying okay so this e field also vary okay and this varying e field again create a magnetic field like this okay so the orientation is the, this is horizontal, okay. So H field is horizontal and E field is vertical, okay. So it is uh, uh, ninety degree separation, okay, between the E field and H field, okay. And it will create again magnetic field and electric field like this. You can see that wave is propagating, no? Wave is propagating, okay. Like this, okay. Is it clear? So if the current is go through this wire, okay, so that uh, that higher that current should be varying, okay. If it is a constant, this will not happen, okay. If you if you set this to a DC value, okay, DC value, okay, or low frequency value. Actually, low frequency also considered as DC value. Electric field and can be yeah, okay. Electric field. No, we can't say like that. No? Here it is like this, okay. Yeah. Electric field like this, and magnetic field is like this, okay. Okay, uh, so if you feed the DC current or very low frequency current, if it is a sinusoidal, maybe for example, if you feed around five hertz, okay, so maybe this will not radiate, okay, because that is very small uh, frequency. So, with respect to high frequency, it is considered as DC, okay? So, it is same as a DC, okay? So, if the current is there, current is DC, this H field, it creates H field, no? If the current is there, it will create H field, this field, but it is not varying, okay? This H field will not vary, okay? DC current, okay? So, so, if it is a DC, this H field, H field not create, varying, okay? So, if the H field is not varying, it cannot create a E field, okay? It, ca it can create a E field, only this H field is varying, varying, okay? So, you have to send us time varying current, okay? Otherwise, the electromagnetic wave will not be propagated, okay? So, I think, uh, so it is also same to in this direction okay like this and same to this direction like this okay so this is how the antenna is radiating normally why antenna okay so the concept is same for every cases okay so basically uh, we have okay there are many types but basically we have four types of antenna one is element antenna element antenna okay element antenna you take that one, okay, antenna, okay. So actually this is, uh, I think this is also, uh, okay, element antenna. So examples are wire antenna, okay, wire antenna. So element antenna means uh, the radiation happen, okay, radiation happen in single element, okay, in single element. Radiation happen in single element. 
okay so that is uh, an element and only single element is there okay so examples are wire antenna okay wire antenna for wire antenna uh, we have dipole monopole okay this kind of antenna we have okay and uh, there are many uh, other antenna canonical antenna okay canonical antenna likewise okay antenna uh, single patch antenna single patch antenna so these are element antenna okay so i think you have learn about the patch antenna micro strip patch antenna so it is element no? yes. only single element so so that is element antenna okay so other type is half h antenna okay the type is half h antenna half h means space no this is space okay so half h antenna so here radiation radiation happen okay radiation happen uh, in uh, space, okay. There is a space, okay. So radiation is happening in space, okay. So we, uh, for example, is horn antenna, okay. Horn antenna. Okay? So uh, if you have time, please uh, search this in the internet. You can see the photos, okay. You no need to remember all these things, okay. But uh, to have uh, to have a basic idea. Uh, it is enough, okay. So the third type is uh, reflecting antenna, okay. Reflecting antenna, okay. So here, uh, actually, here reflecting antenna means radiation is directed, okay. Radiation is directed. That means to a specific direction okay for some application we need to have a specific direction no? for example for in satellite communication helix antenna. yeah sorry helix antenna. helix antenna no helix antenna i think it is uh, yeah. yeah yeah no helix antenna i think it is uh, belongs to the wire antenna okay uh, it will not it, it actually in helix antenna there is a proper uh, polarization thing so okay but uh, it is not uh, reflecting no? there is no any reflection no. okay. yeah one. yeah okay so in the reflecting antenna normally radiation is direction used directed using a reflector for example here you have see that okay. antenna those antenna uh, the satellite yeah. antenna this yeah. antenna okay yes. For one example, okay. So there is a surface, no? Can you uh, that surface that is a reflect? Yeah. Okay. So it is like this, okay. It is like this, okay. So uh, the basically radiation is direct directed, okay. Radiation is directed, directed, uh, directed. From a reflect, okay, from reflect. Because in some application, we need to have a directed wave, okay, up to some, uh, uh, toward a direction, okay. For example, uh, if you want to communicate with the satellite, okay, so you need to have a directed wave. The satellite should be focused to the antenna, okay, okay. And if you want to send some details to the satellite, okay, so this wave should be directed to the satellite, okay. So for the satellite communication in, in our campus also, we have many antenna, okay, dish antenna. Those are called parabolic antenna, okay. Parabolic antenna or reflect antenna, okay. Uh, or reflect antenna, okay. Sorry, parabolic antenna or oh, what is that for dish antenna we called it also dish antenna okay because there is a dish okay parabolic antenna or dish antenna okay so there is a parabola like this that is the reflect this one is the reflect okay so you have the uh, you have a waveguide here 
still you didn't learn about the waveguides no it, it is a transmission line okay so through this waveguide we send i will write it bigger okay so this we have a reflector like this okay and there is a feeder okay there is a feeder like this okay and uh, this feeder that is a transmission line okay rf signal is uh, feeding through this transmission line okay normally it is a waveguide normally it is a waveguide we will learn about the waveguide later okay okay so uh, so you will get rf radiation like this okay so this this waveguide is acting as a arpeggio antenna can you remember can you can you guess that can you understand that because there is no anything okay waveguide is just a hole okay so it is a space okay so radiation happen at this space in a space so it is arpeggio okay so so this radiation come and hit this parabolic and it is directed like this it is just like a lens okay it is just like a lens okay so it is directed this way okay so the wave is directed okay so you can get uh, so if you need to have a line of sight communication normally we are using parabolic candle audition okay so you can see that in in tower also we can see the parabolic antenna okay it used to communicate uh, it, it used to communicate the microwave range in microwave range okay to send the backbone signal to one side to another side okay like yeah yeah okay so that one we have we should have a line of sight communication okay for that one you can use this parabolic antenna because it is directed through this reflector okay so antenna is rejected through this reflector. Okay, is it clear? Okay. Okay. So uh, the other, the fourth type is array antenna. Okay, array antenna. So array antenna means uh, we have a group of group of radiating element. Okay, group of radiating element. Okay, it is not a single element. Okay group of radiating element okay because for some application uh, only one element cannot afford that uh, requirement okay so we have to use array okay several antenna okay several element okay for example if you need uh, it is just like uh, uh, so, so this uh, for this uh, example this reflection antenna is directed the way you know okay but you need to direct so you need to have one antenna okay and you need to direct it uh, through some different places okay so using uh, using array we can do that we can achieve that okay you can direct at the wave at some instance to here and you can direct at the wave at some instant to here likewise you can change uh, so there is there, there should be some processing things okay there should be a signal processing part okay but anyway you can do like this okay uh, this is called actually beam form okay we can direct at the beam as we wish okay for that one we are using group of radiating end okay and you are i think you have heard that mimo system okay multiple input and multiple output system okay so we are going to uh, we are going to increase the propagation environment okay uh, the quality of the propagation environment to so using that one okay for that one also you have to use several lanterns uh, in another word you have to use an array and okay so there are many uh, uh, so one example is Yagi Uda. That is the basic one. Okay, Yagi Uda antenna. Okay, actually this is uh, uh, like this. Okay, you have uh, uh, main part. Okay, main uh, antenna. Okay, and okay so uh, so you are, you are given antenna okay 
we, we use this in our home yes. for a TV. Okay. So that is argued and okay. But it is uh, actually uh, we feed the signal on into one element. Okay. We feed our signal into one element. Okay. Okay. And others are reflectors. Okay. We have this like this. Okay. So others are just reflectors. Okay. We didn't feed. Okay. But uh, but uh, these are guiding the signal to some direction. Okay. These reflectors are guiding. Okay. So there are so these are also radiating actually, it affected to the radiation. Okay. And there are many elements. So this one also considered as array antenna. Yagi would Okay. And uh, I think uh, in our phone, okay, in our phone, we have micro strip antenna. Normally we have four antenna, I think, in our mobile phone, we have four antenna. Okay. So this is a micro strip antenna. Micro strip antenna array actually, because there are four elements. Okay. So this is micro strip array. Okay. So normally for this array, all elements are fed. Okay. All elements are fed. For argued antenna, all elements are not fed. Okay. We feed only one element. Okay. This element. Okay. This basic element. Okay. Yeah. But uh, in tower and in our phone, okay, that antenna, all elements we feed. Okay. So this is connected to the transmitter or receiver or lantern. Okay. Okay. So I think that's knowledge is enough for you. Okay. So I think uh, uh, now you can see that for different different application, we need to have different different antenna. That is the idea you should take. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we will uh, go for the calculation. Okay. Now we will try to do the calculation. I think uh, the time is not enough. Okay. We will try to do up to some level. Okay. Because we have a lab. I have a labs. Yeah. After 11 o'clock, so, okay. Actually, today I try to take uh, three hours. No, we, we have yeah, discussed yeah. in previous week, okay, for that week because of this lab. I couldn't prepare okay, for the lecture, actually. okay. So, we will try to do the calculation of radiation field, radiation field of phantom, of phantom, okay. So <clears throat> you know that, okay. You know that. Um, so this is a radiation field means it is an electromagnetic field, okay. So if there are any electromagnetic things involved, okay. Always we have to use the Maxwell equation, no? Okay. So we have to use the Maxwell equation to derive the radiation field of antenna also, okay. Maxwell equation, so, okay. So there are four Maxwell equations, okay? Can you tell me that? I can't remember, okay? Okay, so this is one, okay? I will write the Maxwell equation here. You no need to keep remember, okay? But try to take the idea, okay? I will, uh, I have a note and I will uh, give it to your friend, okay? Then uh, you can share, okay? So it is like this, okay? I will explain this, okay? And, Zero. Okay. And this B is equal to minus lava B by lava T. Okay. Well, H is equal to J plus lava D by lava T. Okay. So we have four element, four equation, Maxwell equation. Okay. This is first, this is second, this is third, and this is fourth, okay? So these are the Maxwell equation, okay? <clears throat> okay, so uh, so I think uh, you have learned this Maxwell equation in uh, electromagnetic sum, no? Electromagnetism, okay? So this D is uh, electric flux density, electric flux density, okay? This is electric flux density. And this rho is electric charge density. Electric charge density. 
okay density so it is <clears throat> uh, charge density means if you have a charge okay in the area if you divide the charge by the volume okay so charge density means uh, charges for per unit volume okay charge per per unit volume okay that is the electric charge density charge per unit volume okay <clears throat> that is electric charge density okay and um, so d rho okay so this b i think you know already it is uh, magnetic flux density you have learned this in your maths a level flux density okay and this e is electric field electric field you have know that one h is magnetic field magnetic field magnetic field intensity no intensity okay that is intensity intensity and j is current density current density okay that is current per unit area okay here it is volume this is current per unit area okay <clears throat> and i think uh, you you have learned uh, that uh, this b is equal to mu h and b is equal to epsilon e no you have learned this in a level and electromagnetism also okay so this mu is the permittivity this uh, magnetic permittivity and this epsilon is per mobility no i can i can uh, yeah okay okay so uh so actually these are the maxwell equation okay so you no need to remember but uh, please have idea okay <clears throat> just refresh your memory okay okay i think uh, uh, this operator you know already okay okay that is a vector operator okay that is the gradient operator no this is the gradient operator gradient operator okay gradient operator operator okay and if you get a dot product with the gradient okay it is called as divergent div no and if you get the cross product with a vector it is called curve okay so please uh, refresh your memory on this see what is a gradient operator and how we can calculate the divergence d u and how we can how we can calculate the curve okay so try to figure out this okay in your mathematics you have already learned this okay but uh, in this course we are not going to do any uh, vector calculation okay so you no need to use this okay in, okay but you have to use the integration volume and surface integration okay not uh, volume integration i think you have to do no you, you also have to do the volume integration also okay but uh, <clears throat> no need to do the vector operator okay vector uh, vector calculation if needed i will mention when we are doing the things okay so uh, only the things we are i will highlight the things you need to keep remember okay so only that that things if you could remember it is okay okay actually you will have a open book exam okay so you no need to remember anything okay but uh, you should uh, but i will show you some things you have to get familiar with that time, okay <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> okay so you have to get familiar with that okay <clears throat> no need to remember but you should be familiar with that okay you should know how to apply it and how to get a solution using that that is enough okay uh, okay so uh, <clears throat> so that is a vector maxwell equation okay and using this maxwell equation we can derive a, another variable okay that is actually a variable okay that is called magnetic vector potential we 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 mention it as a okay so that is magnetic vector potential 
Okay. We called it magnetic vector potential. Okay. That is magnetic vector potential. Okay. So for all the derivation, we use this magnetic vector potential. Okay. Okay. So this magnetic vector potential, these parameters, parameter is derived using the Maxwell equation. Okay. Using the Maxwell equation, we can derive this magnetic vector potential parameter. Okay, so uh, so it is actually uh, like this. Okay, so we can define this magnetic vector potential as um, B equal to curl A. Okay, is it correct? Yes. B is equal to curl A. Okay, so we can we can we can de define this magnetic potential like this okay so the magnetic flux density is equal to curl of magnetic vector potential curl of magnetic potential is equal to the magnetic flux density b okay so in this way we can define this magnetic vector potential okay so i think uh, uh, this uh, it is better to familiar with this one okay but we will rarely use this, okay? But uh, I think uh, if you're familiar with this one, it will be okay, okay? But it is not a compulsory, okay? It is not compulsory. Okay. And uh, so this B is equal to vector A, okay? So we can use, sorry, we can use this one, okay? We can use the uh, Maxwell equation two. Okay, make we can use Maxwell equation two. Okay, Maxwell equation two is yeah, this one. Okay, that is equal to zero. Okay, so we can write this like this. Okay, dive curl a is equal to zero. Okay, actually, this is a vector identity. Okay, there are some vector identities. Okay, so this is a vector identity actually. Okay. For example, if you get the divergent of a curl of a scale, it is equal to zero. Okay. So this is a vector identity. Okay. So using that vector identity, we can write like this. Okay. You can write like this. Okay, so this equation can be right this. Okay, so we can do the derivation. Okay, so we have to do some assumption and do the derivation, and we can get the expression for that one. Okay, so that is this one. Okay, so that is okay. So uh, you no need to do that derivation. Okay, it is not complex actually. Okay, it is not complex. I will send you the de derivation. If you need, you can. Uh, you can try to understand it by yourself okay i hope it can be understand by yourself okay only thing is you need to know you need to have some uh, memory on this vector identities okay using the vector identities actually we derive this uh, term okay so it is like this a minus one by c square this C is the light velocity, okay, and bar bar A bar bar e, e square is equal to minus mu naught j, okay. So we can derive this equation, okay. We can derive this equation, okay. So you can see that magnetic potential vector potential is there, okay. And this is called uh, magnetic vector potential wave equation. Potential wave equation. Okay, wave equation. So we can derive this using the Maxwell equation and some vector identities. Okay. So this is the magnetic vector potential wave equation. Okay. You no need to remember this one. Okay. I, I think you no need to familiar with this one, okay? Uh, so, but uh, I need to show you the step, how we are 
via uh, derived a radiation field. Okay, that is why I told you this is step. Okay, uh, if you have that idea, it will be enough. Okay, you no need to keep remember everything. Okay, if you can't understand uh, hundred percent these things, these things, it will be okay also. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> this is the magnetic vector potential wave equation. Okay, and using this one, okay, using this one, uh, we can we can get okay. Another thing is this a is a variable. Okay, this a is a variable. Okay, and it is both both. It is a function of both position and time. Okay. This A is a function of position and time. Okay. So it is called a wave. Okay. What is a signal? Can anyone tell me what is a signal? No, sinusoidal is one example for signal. No. Normally, what, what is sinusoidal signal? What is what happened there? The voltage is varying according to time. Okay, so so signal in signal voltage or current. So electrical signal. Okay, I am talking about electrical signal. Okay, so there are many signals. Okay, there are many signals, but I am talking about the electrical signal. Okay, so uh, if you consider electrical signal, okay, it is a voltage varying with the time. Okay, so that signal is a function of time. Time is the independent variable. Only time is the independent variable. But if you consider a wave, okay. If, but if you consider this one, okay, this one, it is a function of time as well as function of position. Okay, what's that mean? It is going, propagating, no? Time, it is changing with time and position. That means it is moving. Moving. Okay. So that is a wave. That is a wave. Okay, so that is the difference between signal and wave. Okay, signal is a function of time, but a wave is a function of both time and position. Okay, so I think that uh, idea is enough. Okay, and this J also, uh, this J, it is a current density. Okay, so it current is also traveling. No, current is traveling, and we have to use a uh, time varying current otherwise we don't have a radiation okay so this j is a current density you know that current is traveling okay so it is also a function of r okay and the current should be varying otherwise it will not propagate it okay so it is also a function of time okay so this j also a function of time and position okay so this a is but this is not a wave okay it is varying, but it is not a wave because it is it is uh, varying in a conductor. No, we can say that it is a current wave. I don't know that word is correct or not. Okay, but this current is moving in a conductor, but this A is changing in a space. Okay, so that is why we called it wave. Okay, so I hope uh, you can understand these things. Okay. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> okay, so we can use this this uh, magnetic vector potential wave, wave equation to find a magnetic vector potential, okay, of a conducting wire. Okay, for example, if you have a conducting uh, conductor, okay, we can't say it is a wire, okay. Uh, if you have a conductor, okay, like this, okay, let's say that uh, like this, okay, so you have a conductor here, okay, this is a conductor, okay, point conductor, okay. let's say, okay, and if you want to find a magnetic vector potential here, okay, so you can solve this magnetic vector potential equation to this case, okay? So this solving also very complicated, okay? You have to use many assumptions and things, okay? So we are not going to do that derivation, okay? 
we just see what is the solution okay solution of this uh, a okay solution of this magnetic vector potential for this case okay so this is a solution solution of a okay for a current density for a current density okay so what is that current density current density means it is a changing okay the current is changing no okay so it is a radiator okay so we can we can consider this current density so this is the current density okay so you can consider this as the antenna okay did you get it okay this is a current density and you can you can assume this as the antenna okay and uh, we we so this is with respect to some position no okay for that one you have to use a coordinate system okay otherwise you can't define the position okay you have to define the position with respect to a uh, preference point okay so you have to use a coordinate system okay so that is why coordinate system are import importance okay so so i will write it like this okay so you have to use this one this tool to draw this mark okay so this is x sorry this is normally set no? this is z okay x y is set okay so he said this this way x y is this way is at this this way. okay so this is y and is set like this okay okay and so here the current distribution j hmm? sorry x this is x okay i'm sorry okay thank you this is x okay this is x okay so uh, so this is the current distribution okay j okay and if you consider this position okay let's say that it is r dash so this is the position vector okay so this r dash is a position vector of j okay so this is the position vector of j position vector of j current distribution okay current distribution so you can consider it as the antenna okay so this is the current distribution okay distribution and so this is so you want to find the magnetic vector potential at here no you want to measure the or find the magnetic vector potential here in this place okay let's say that this position is r dash okay r bar okay so this is the desired position okay any position common position in the space okay so we are going to find the uh, magnetic vector potential in this position okay in this position set up Okay, so this is the A. Okay, so this is position. Let's say that it is uh, R or some. No. Okay, so this is the position. Okay, let's say that it is uh, uh, some point. Let's say that it is a P. Okay, so this is the position. Okay, and uh, so you have to derive the, you have to use this magnetic vector potential equation and try to try to find the magnetic vector here okay so uh, if you consider this one okay let's say that it is capital r okay so these are vector actually this this r dash vector this r bar vector okay so if you get so you know that r r 
these are vector, no? Okay. R bar dash plus R bar is equal to R, no? Okay. This one equal this one. This one plus this one equal to this one. is vector. Okay. Because these are vector. Okay. So, this vector is like this. Okay. So, you can consider this one R as R bar minus R bar dash. Okay. So, you can like this. Okay. Write like this. R dash. Okay. So this is the vector. Okay. So if you get the magnitude of R, okay, so it is like this. Okay. So this is the magnitude of R. Okay. And this this direction, this direction, okay, this this uh, direction you can consider as uh, capital R dash. Okay. So this is the direction of the R. Okay. And this is the magnitude of R. Okay. So that magnetic vector potential you can derive like this. Okay. Okay. So this one. Okay. A R bar T is equal to mu naught for phi o equals. So now we consider this current density as a volume. Okay. It is a volume. Okay. So we have to do a volume integration. Okay. So here we are doing the volume integration. Okay. And you have to do that with respect to J. Okay. Dash T. Okay. Minus R by C. Okay. Divided by R. Okay. And you have to do the volume integration. Okay. So you have to do a volume integration. Okay. But. Okay. So this is the solution. Okay. So this is the solution. Okay. And you can see that. So this is radiating. No? This is radiating. This J is radiating. Okay. This current distribution is radiating. So it radiation to the space, no? Yes. Okay. So there are no any uh, boundary surfaces. Okay. We, the, we didn't consider any boundary surfaces. Okay. So it is an unbounded environment. Okay. It is an unbounded environment. So we call this solution for a unbounded space. Okay. Solution for a unbounded space. Unbounded space. Okay, I have mentioned it. unbounded free space, no boundaries. Okay, so here we are not considering any boundaries. Okay, any surface bound uh, radiation surface boundary. Uh, okay, we will, when we are doing the simulation, I think you can clear these things. Okay, up to this time, we will it is enough to have this knowledge. Okay, so and uh, here it is not mentioned. Okay, but okay. So so here we we consider this as uh, charge volume, no? current volume. No? Okay, but if you consider line current, okay, if you consider line current, that means if you consider a wire. Okay, so you have a wire like this. Okay, you have a wire like this. Okay. This is a wire, okay, like this. Okay. This is a wire. Okay. And you have a current through this wire. Okay. So this current is varying. Okay. Okay. And so this point, if you consider this point, okay, a wire in, in this conducting wire, you can you can consider any point. Okay. Let's consider that that point is this one. Okay. Because of this point. The creation magnetic field is field you can get creating uh, the magnetic vector potential you can you can uh, you can calculate through this solution okay so this is a line current okay so it is so this will this will change to the line integral not the volume integral okay it is just a line integral and this j is also converting to the current okay because it is a line okay 
because it is a line. Okay, because it is two dimension. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have. Uh, so if you consider a wire, this solution. Okay, for this solution, you can use instead of this J, you can use the current. Inten instead of this volume integral, you can use the line integral. Okay, so you can derive. Uh, you can get uh, ex 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 um, what is uh, what is that called? Uh, you can get uh, expression for a uh, for a vector potential at any point due to the wire wire of that wire point any point of a wire conducting wire okay so that is used to uh, used to uh, derive the radiation fields of the antenna actually okay so now we don't have much time okay so next week we will see these things okay so if you couldn't understand these things 100%, okay, it will be okay, okay. Uh, I need to give you the idea how how the radiation pattern is derived in and okay. So these are, all these are done in mathematics, okay. Actually, we need to know the vector identities, vector calculation very well and we need to have a good understanding about the coordination system, coordination systems. Okay. Then if you know the line integrals, volume integrals, and surface integrals, you can easily derive all the things. Okay. Okay, so we will stop here. Okay, I will upload this lecture, okay, to the LMS. Uh, so before leaving, if you have any problem, you can ask, okay. You can issue, you can ask, okay.